head coach Nietzsche Perry and uh, junior guard Christina Wells after a 98-75 loss to, uh, to Stetson. Coach, just your thoughts on the game? Um, uh, definitely frustrating, but uh, just disappointed on how we started the game. Uh, just, I don't want to say didn't get off the bus, but didn't get off the bus, you know, the first uh, few minutes of the game, the last 12, uh, first few minutes of the first half, the last 12 minutes of the first half, I think we won that 12 minutes, but just, you know, trying to get us to a maturity level to know that we got to show up all day, every day. I mean, that was a, you know, defending champion. And so, just disappointing. Coach, can you elaborate on that start? How frustrating it was because when you look at the box, in the second half, you essentially played them even. Uh -huh. um, so can you really just kind of just elaborate? I mean, they get off 18 nothing before, I mean, I think it was like the second media time. I just how frustrating was that for you? Um, it was it was it was frustrating, but more frustrating for you know the I was frustrated because of my players and how hard they've worked to get to this point, right. and then to come out there and not you know and have kind of a relapse for lack of better words um, after having a game you know like a Florida Gulf Coast mm -hmm. um, and just you know trying to get them to understand that it's it's the day in and day out thing. Right. Um, the Northern Kentucky game right before the Florida Gulf Coast game was a disappointing game. Right. And so just, you know, always teaching mm -hmm. and just trying to find a teachable moment in the 18-0 run was very difficult. And then obviously one bright spot was a player sitting next to you, Katrina, uh, Christina Wells with 32 points. Just talk a little bit about her play today. Um, I've just been extremely proud of her. Uh, she has been the most consistent player on our team as far as the energy level, um, and, and I feel like her energy level is what has really produced the points. Uh, she's always in a battle for a rebound when we need it. Uh, last game she took a huge charge, and I, I keep saying the same story over and over, but Florida Gulf Coast, you know, we're in a timeout. Uh, it's the four-point ball game, and I said, hey, somebody needs to take a charge, and she said, coach, I got you. And after that timeout, she went and took a charge. And uh, that's, that's true leadership, and I'm just so proud of how she's grown uh, in these few months. And then, Christina, just talk a little bit about your play and the mentality that you uh, bring out in the court. Well, I'm a leader, so everybody looks up to me. It's kind of difficult to, like, be down. And then, you know, I want to be down, but I have to stay up. So I have to be strong, and coaches always tell me, like, next possession, and that's what I live for. So I try to get my team to, you know, grow up and take that advice as well. Coach, can you talk about what do you want your team to understand going forward? Because you just played the defending ASUN champs, essentially even in the second half. And then from what I heard, you all were literally only down two to Florida Gulf Coast the game before that and really could have had the game. So what do you want them to go forward? Because it seems like you all are playing with the, I mean, I mean, these are the elite teams of the conference. Mm -hmm. And you're playing with them. You're competing with them. What do you want them to take away from those moments going forward for the rest of the conference season? Uh, to not just think about competing, but winning. Right. Uh, you know that it's just it's a process and it's, it's a slow process. But they uh, just knowing that they can compete and, and win a game right. on any given night. Right. You know, and I you know even bigger than a Florida Gulf Coast game and the Stetson game. Yes, those are the elite teams, but the teams like the Northern Kentuckys. If you, you know, and I told them if you play like you played against Florida Gulf Coast, right. you beat Northern Kentucky. Right. But we're saying that every game. And so now we got to get to the point where we're taking that and we're making it real. Right. We're showing up every night. And again, you know, just being surprised as they're in the game, I think mm -hmm. is, is something that we're, we're working, to, to working through as a group. And Christina, as a, a leader um, as, um, and one of the players, um, how can you use this game moving forward as motivation? You go to ETSU on Thursday. Just, you know, them being, you know, winners of the conference last year, like, we, com we can compete with them. Any team in the conference, we can compete. Everybody's good. Nobody sucks at this level. So it's like, if we can compete with Stetson and Florida Gulf Coast, we can compete with anybody. We just have to want to win. We have to know, like, we deserve to win. We, could, we can't just settle for being mediocre like coaches. And then, Coach, what do you plan to work on um, this week heading to a big road trip? Uh, Probably a little running. No, I'm kidding. No. Um, <laughs> um, we, you know, offensive rebounding has been a thorn in our side. Uh, the last game, uh, Florida Gulf Coast, we had nine offensive boards. 
this game, we had improvement of 19, but when you're shooting 34%, we can go get some more boards. Um, and that is just about effort. And so just, you know, I talked to the team more about valuing every part of the game, not just the scoring. So this week is going to be a lot more uh, mental toughness things um, and, and just mentally getting prepared more so than the physical aspect of it because rebounding is up here first. And so right now we're not thinking, maybe because we've had a couple games where we shot really well, that we kind of spoiled ourselves, but we're going to get back to that. Anyone? Coach, yes. Coach, how do you feel about the, the shot selection that the team took today? Uh, I see uh, Stetson went to the line 33 times compared to only 13 times. Uh, what do you attribute that to? I'm going to have to blame the refs. No, I'm kidding. Uh, really, you know, we took uh, 34 threes. Um, that is not ideal. Um, and, and, and I will, you know, give some credit to uh, Stetson. Uh, they changed their defense almost every possession. And so when you're, when you're going against a 2-3 zone, uh, you are going to get – the open threes, you know, my challenge to my team was, can we get closer to the basket and then go in to go out? You know, we talk about uh, going inside out, getting everybody going before we start just shooting threes. I know we have, you know, a couple kids that, you know, are three-point specialists in Bria Young and uh, DeAndre Sawyers, but they also can do other things. So I, I challenge them to not uh, box themselves into just shooting the ball, but, you know, it's a mindset. When you see that, that zone, it, it, it messes with you a little bit. Thanks, Scott.